I have a very fun video ahead for you guys, but super quickly before we get started, I have a special announcement. As you guys can see, I am currently wearing our Sisters Apparel Cafe collection, which I am very, very excited to tell you guys is going to be restocked for this year's Black Friday sale on sisters-apparel.com. They launched about a month ago now, and I could not thank you guys enough for the amount of love and support we received on the collection. They sold out in just over a day, and the reviews are in, and they were officially a massive, massive hit. They come in five different colors and are all inspired by our favorite cups of coffee. We have vanilla latte, caramel frappe, pumpkin spice, cold brew, and I am wearing black coffee today. They were originally $69, but we really wanted to do something special for you guys for the holiday season. So on this launch, they'll be only $49. Our sale is gonna start on Thursday night, so November 25th at 5 p.m. PST. So make sure you guys set your alarms, mark your calendars, because the sale will only be going on until they're gone. Hi sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you guys did not know, Ariana Grande just released her first ever makeup line called REM Beauty, and literally everybody is talking about it. It's quite a historical moment in the beauty community. Her fans seem to be super, super excited, but at the same time, pretty much every celebrity ever has launched a makeup line at this point. So there's a little bit of skepticism in the beauty community as well. And I've been getting a ton of requests to try out the products for you guys and let you know my thoughts. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. I have everything here in front of me and I'm very much looking forward to trying out a full face of REM beauty. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh. All right, you guys, I am so excited to finally get into these products today. I'm basically just gonna go through them one by one and try them out. If you are a fan and you wanna support her and you wanna try out these products, I encourage you to spend your hard earned money however you please. However, as a beauty guru and makeup artist, it is part of my job to stay on top of trends and try out new things when they launch in my community. And I've gotten a ton of requests to try out REM so you guys know whether or not you should spend your hard earned money on the brand. And as you can see, my base is already on because this first launch, which I think was called chapter one, is very much like eye and lip focus with some highlighters too. So let's. Go Go ahead and unbox uh, the eyeshadow palettes right here. This is what the packaging. Oh, maybe can you lower the brightness a little bit? Yeah. Hopefully you guys can kind of see, sorry, these studio lights kind of blow everything out, but the packaging is very light gray. It gives very like space kind of aesthetic. It says REM Beauty on here. And if I open it up, this is the baby doll palette. I believe she launched with three that are all $24 each. And this is what it looks like. Okay, to be, okay. So the packaging of this brand has definitely been a little bit controversial. And I wanted to ask you guys and actually get your thoughts and feedback so I could share it in the video. And the opinions are very, very mixed. Some people seem to really, really like it and others are kind of a little bit unimpressed. And I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't think it's bad by any means. And I will say that it actually looks and feels a lot nicer in person than I was expecting. So that's definitely a pleasant surprise. REM basically means like a really deep sleep. So automatically my brain goes to like stars or clouds or moons, like that whole vibe. So I do understand the whole like space aesthetic, but I do feel like the packaging could have been taken one step further, whether it was was moon craters or like, you know when astronauts go to space, they're known for like zero gravity or like they have those like freeze dried food packets that everything comes in. It would have been so cool if all the components came in that sort of packaging and stuff. It's just like little details like that that I really feel like would have tied the brand together a little bit more, made all the packaging feel really cohesive and taken the overall like brand identity above and beyond. Or should I say out of this world. So inventive creative. Push the boat out on that one. So this is eyeshadow palette number one. It's called Baby Doll. This is palette number two called Midnight Snack. Very pretty. There is a third palette called Principessa. It's also $24 with six shades, but I'm going to be using the Baby Doll palette today for a super cute, just simple glam look. So the palette does have shade names, but they're on the box instead of the actual like component, which I really don't care about. My palette didn't have shade names either, so it's not that deep. But if you want to follow along, the first shade that I'm going to dip into is called Croissant. It is the Third one in right here, just like the lighter transition color. So dipping my brush in, I'm definitely not noticing anything crazy. It's performing exactly like an eyeshadow should. There's no crazy amount of fallout, no excess powder. It's just going right on and I'm just going to put this right into my lid and it's going on very, very nicely as well. I'm actually very into this color. It was kind of looking light in the pan, but I feel like it's going on like as the perfect skin transition tone for me. <gasps> okay, love that. And the next thing we're gonna dip into is called Boca Mocha, which is the kind of like burnt brownie red over here. This one does have a little bit more powder kick up when I dip my brush into it, but I personally don't really care about that. That's kind of like a personal um, opinion. Or what? Personal preference is what I was looking for. And just like the first color, it's going on very, very nicely. It's not patchy, it's not skipping at all. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more of that just to deepen up this kind of like outer little curve. I don't know what this is called. Just this underneath my brow bone and then just swinging this back up. Would you say you're swinging it side to side? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that crease literally went on so nicely. My next step is like to cut it, but I honestly like barely even need to. Yeah. That's called professional makeup artistry right there. Imagine a world like that. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Lewis, you're killing these. Imagine a world like that. Just gonna grab a little bit of my concealer to just cut my crease. So the crease is looking nice and sharp, so now we're just gonna go in and add some fun metallic shades to the lid. Okay, you guys, I have to be honest, I am really not impressed with the metallic shades in the palette. Um, they look really nice in the pan, but honestly on the eyelids, they're just a lot more satin than they are glittery and metallic. So if that's something that you look for in a shadow, just definitely be aware of that ahead of time. So I wanna try to amp them up a little bit if I can. And I'm gonna use the REM Lustrous Liquid Eyeshadow. There are a bunch of different shades of these and I picked up two for my little collection here. I have Comet and Nerd. I'm gonna use the shade Comet because I feel like this will match really well with my look that we have going on. I'm just gonna go in and layer this right on top of what we already have created. All right, you guys, so layering this onto my eyes, it's definitely helping to amp up the eyeshadow quite a lot. I will say though, looking up close, it is not layering on the eyeshadow as nicely as I want it to. Um, I'm going to film a little clip of my iPhone because I just know that it's not gonna show up on the actual camera here, but it's separating pretty badly on my lid, which is definitely a little bit of a concern. We really want them to be able to layer on and kind of dry down pretty quickly so you get that seamless look. Okay, you guys, so finishing up the eyeshadow, there is a black liquid liner in this collection, which we're going to get to in a second and do a cute little wing, but I kind of want this to be like a smokier wing. So before we dip into that, I'm just gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette one last time and grab this dark brown shade called Espresso right here. And I'm basically just going to smoke out my little outer corner and get ready for a wing in a second. So this is what the eyeliner looks like on the inside. It retails for $19, which I feel like is very like average for a eyeliner marker. Um, it is a felt tip marker, which is definitely not my favorite when it comes to eyeliner. Personally, I prefer brush tip eyeliners over felt tip just because I feel like felt tips are a little bit harder to work with. They tend to skip a little bit. So sometimes you have to go over the same areas a few times to really make sure it's like black and opaque and kind of even with no like bumpiness in the lines. In terms of the actual like ink of the eyeliner though, it went on very, very black, very dark. It's very opaque, which is nice. It's kind of like a satiny finish. I definitely wouldn't call it full matte, which I wish it was, but once again, it looks okay. So if you're somebody that has a lot of practice with eyeliner and you feel confident in your skills, this might be really great for you. But if you're somebody who's more of a beginner and needs kind of just a really basic, easy application, I don't know if I would recommend this because it was a little bit harder for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera now just to save some time and then I'll be right back to try out the mascara and lashes and the rest of the products. All right, you guys, I am back with both eyes done and I am really, really liking how this is turning out so far, but we are not done quite yet because we still have lashes and mascara, both of which run beauty lunch. So let's go ahead and grab our lengthening. Our Florison mask, oops, that's in French. You stupid. Our Flourishing Lengthening Mascara. This retails online for $15, which I feel like is a very like average price for a mascara. So I feel like that's pretty good. Ooh, I actually really, really like this packaging. I feel like this is really cool. Definitely different than a lot of the mascaras that I have in my collection. I feel like this is actually pretty chic. I like this a lot. So initial reactions is that this formula is a little bit on the drier side for a mascara, which is once again, kind of like a personal preference thing. I do prefer a drier formula because I feel like you can work it on a little bit easier and and it kind of sticks to the false lashes better. Whereas sometimes when it's like a wet formula, some people like it because it coats the lashes better, but then it's kind of like sticky and clumpy and gets everywhere. So kind of just up to you about what you like. Overall, I feel like this mascara is very average. It's not clumping together. It's not a gross formula, which is really nice. And it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is obviously make the lashes black and coated and lifted and everything. But in terms of lengthening, I'm really not seeing anything different at all. It kind of looks like my normal lashes. And I definitely have some mascaras from the drugstore that are a lower price point that do perform better. But honestly, for me, mascaras don't really matter because I always put on false lashes anyway, which we're about to do right now. All right, you guys. So for my lashes today, we're gonna be trying out the REM Beauty Lashes in the style Dream. And for me, I'm very sad to say that this is immediately a no. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately no. Immediately no. And I'm going to tell you why. A lot of people have been reacting to these lashes saying that they look really, really cheap, like drugstore type lashes. And I definitely do agree. But for me, that isn't a bad thing. I actually really, really like the cheap drugstore lashes. In fact, I have been wearing like Ardell Demi Wispies religiously recently. I am just obsessed with them. I feel like the days of like crazy drag lashes are over with, at least for me personally. And I love a more natural lash, which is just very much giving me. So it's not the style, it's the price. These retail for $16, which I think for a cheap drugstore lash is absolutely Absolutely ridiculous. You can get a pack of like five different pairs of Ardell Demi Wispies, which as you guys can see, look very, very, very similar and are actually longer for like, I think like six bucks at CVS. So I definitely think that you guys can find a similar looking lash that is like the same exact quality for a much, much lower price point. But that being said, we are finally done with the eyes. It was quite a roller coaster to get to this final look. I still think that it looked really, really good. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be uh, highlighters. Now these have been very, very talked about in the beauty community. I have, spoiler alert, watched a few different reviews so far and a lot of people are really liking these. So I'm very excited to try them out for myself today. We have like a bright pink. That one's really, really pretty. This is what all the packaging looks like, by the way, as well, you guys. It's kind 
kind of that same silver metallic vibe. We also have Miss Saturn, which is a more like rosy gold shade. That one's really pretty as well. This one is called Miss Mercury. And then last but not least, we have Miss Neptune, which I think is the purple one. Yes, it's like a lavender highlighter with a blue reflect. Oh, that is stunning. That is really, really, really pretty. Let's do Miss Mercury first and then I can kind of blend it into the blush with some Miss Uranus. <laughs> just gonna grab my little highlighting brush as always, just dipping a little bit in. Let's go ahead and apply it to the cheekbone. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, okay, I, whoa. I was not expecting that much like payoff, but oh my God, that looks really, really pretty. Oh my God. Okay, let's do a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the brow bone. Okay, I am very, very impressed with that. I'm gonna go in a little bit on my nose. All right, you guys, the highlighters are definitely, definitely a favorite. Oh my gosh, for $22, I feel like they are very fairly priced and the formula is out of this world, pun intended. I feel like you guys will really, really love these if you add these to your collection and they're definitely the favorite so far. All right, you guys, so our face is almost complete, but we do have one step remaining, which is going to be the lips. And thankfully, Rem Beauty came through with quite a lot of lip products. I actually think there are three different like versions. We have their Practically Permanent Lip Stain Markers, which I am very, very excited to try out. So these are a lip marker, which I've literally never seen or heard of before in the beauty community. So that's kind of cool that it's like a new product. And these retail for $16 each. Let's see what it actually looks like on my hand. This one's in the shade Popular. This one's called Miss Berry, which is a bit more of like a darker berry color as expected. The final shade is called Booked and Busy. So it's a little bit more of like a mauve pinky type color. If I was gonna use any of these three, it would definitely be this one. If you do look though, if you wanna zoom in on the camera, they are kind of bleeding into, see how it's kind of like bleeding into the little cracks and crevices of my hand. So I don't know if I would use this as a lip liner, but I don't think that that's what it's intended for because it's like a lip stain, which is not something that I've ever really used before on my channel. So let's go ahead and just try it out, I guess. If it doesn't look good, I'll just cover it up with something else because we you have two other lip products, but let's just see. I definitely can see this working really, really well for younger kids that are just kind of getting into makeup and don't want like a crazy full matte liquid lipstick. And I can also see this pairing really well with like a gloss on top or like a girl on the go. However, if you are used to kind of like that full glam, more complex beauty routine, and you're used to the like lip liner matte liquid lipstick then a gloss over top, this might not be for you because it's very, very different. So Ariana also did launch some matte lipsticks and these are called On Your Color Matte Lipsticks. And this is in the shade Wine and Dine. Let's go ahead and open it up and I can already tell you guys, I am obsessed with this packaging. I think by far out of every single thing in the collection, the lipsticks have the coolest packaging. I think it is so cute. There are these like cute silver gray little metallic tubes, just like everything else, but it has the little like circular window at the top of the lipstick, just like a little astronaut helmet. I think that these are so cute, I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm not exactly loving this color, but that is not Ariana's fault. That is my own fault for not getting the right ones. However, I will say the formula feels amazing. Oh my God, this went on so smooth. It is so creamy. Oh, you know what though? <gasps> I have the mind of a mastermind. I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but. Ariana also launched matte liquid shadows. And I do have this color right here, which is called BRB. I did not use that on my eyes, but I wonder if I could actually use this on my lips to get a better color that I'm looking for. Why does that look so good? I prefer the other one. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like this color no, looks so- looks, I think that looks really good. It looks good. so good. I like the other one too. All right, you guys, last but finally not least, we have one more product also for the lips. I know it's quite a lot. There's gonna be like 80 layers on here, but it's looking really good. We have the utmost important plumping lip gloss. People have definitely been talking about this. It is obviously a clear formula and comes in a tiny little tube like this. And this retails for $17, which for me personally, I think is way, way too much money. I could definitely justify $17 if it was like a bigger component with like cuter packaging, but this is just very like Claire's looking makeup to me. And for $17, Absolutely not. But that being said, I remember looking at the website and the launch date, and this is one of the first things that sold out. So clearly a lot of people are very, very interested in this. Um, so let's go ahead and try it out for ourselves and see what all the hype is about. Oh, wow. Okay, yep, they're, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, wow, they are definitely, oh my God, my lips feel hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot, hot, hot. You know how when you're having like a hot flash and your whole body just like gets like 
temperature. A hot flash? Yes! My lips literally feel like that right now. Like they feel hot. If you tried like a plumping losses before and you really like the sensation, you guys will definitely like this one because it's pretty intense. However, when a product says plumping, obviously no lipstick can ever actually make your lips bigger aside from filler, which I personally have quite a lot of, but I know a lot of you guys don't out there. So I personally would recommend spending your money on a lip liner and a lipstick and learning how to overline nicely. And then you can find a similar clear gloss at the drugstore for a much more affordable price. All right, you guys. And last but finally not least, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of setting spray to lock this makeup look in place because we are finally done with trying out every single product from Rem Beauty by Ariana Grande. Looking in the mirror, I really like how my makeup turned out today. I think these products look really, really pretty together. And overall, I think the brand is pretty good. My favorite products by far were the highlighters and the lipsticks. I think these are both absolutely phenomenal and you guys should definitely check them out. And I would have to say my least favorite product would definitely have to be the lashes, which I have on. They were just not giving what they're supposed to be giving. I really think this line will be perfect for a lot of beginner makeup artists. And I also think that the fans of Ariana Grande who bought this line to support her are going to really, really like the products that come in because obviously they're pretty great and you're able to create a really beautiful look with them. For me personally though, I do feel like I already have some similar products in my makeup collection. So I'm not exactly sure how many of these items will make it into my daily makeup routine. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what other chapters they come out with in the future. All right, you guys. Well, I know that this has been literally the longest video ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up here. But thank you so, so much for watching. If you made it all the way through, you are definitely a real one. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below to share love and support. And also leave me a comment down below letting me know what were your initial thoughts on Rem Beauty? Do you have any products that you wanna try? Have you tried anything? And also, what do you think of the finished makeup look? Let me know down below below and I'll be responding to you guys as well. If you have not already, come on and join the family. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button down below and also click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, they're all just James Charles and they're going to be linked right here around the screen. Don't forget as well that the Sisters Apparel Black Friday sale and restock is coming this Thursday at 5 p.m. at pstnsisters-apparel.com. And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. It's time for me to say goodnight and go. <laughs> Bye.